Yeah, so I promised I would tell you about my involvement with Oral Roberts. This started back in high school, I believe. I don't know where I saw him on television, and my parents had nothing against it, and I was getting the Abundant Life magazine. I was sending him five bucks, ten bucks here, because I liked the stuff. It was actually a paperweight with like a pearl and an oyster, and it said the pearl a great price, and I thought, oh, that was so cool. And during my summer school, when I was doing my advanced English, I actually used the Abundant Life magazine as a tool when they asked us to analyze what a magazine was about. So maybe I came off then as a bit of a religious nut. Now, if you know anything about the, I don't know, I have this, this name correct, the Conference of Toronto, where something came down and possessed allegedly the Holy Spirit, but I think something much darker, where something came down and possessed a bunch of a bunch of TV evangelists. And then he really started to go off the rails after that. If you remember, there was a big scandal about like, oh, he would die if he didn't get X million dollars. So, so much, so much TV evangelism is, is corrupt, has always been corrupt. I also watched Joel Osteen briefly. There's another perfect example. Never mind this recent thing where he wouldn't let people into the church because because there was allegedly flooding. Look look at his background. Is there a cross hanging there? No, there's the world. This is him, Mr. Worldly. And I also was listening to Joyce Meyer. I like Joyce Meyer. Again, it sounds great, and but her snake mouth kind of bothered me. Look at her mouth. She's got the mouth of a serpent. And I was giving them money because she was doing projects in India, India being a cause dear to my heart because it's just such a fucking mess over there. But I've stopped that too. If you, again, look at YouTube and you'll see that she is promoting an idea of Jesus that is not biblically correct. Watch again this whole anti-Catholic thing. There's, there's a video up here saying that Pope Francis can't even, can't even speak the Lord's Prayer because it won't come out of his mouth. And then I saw this other thing. Uh, there's this a channel called the, was it the Inner Light or the Outer Light? The Snake Mouth, that is the the Pope speaking place, and, and the, the Throne of Lucifer. Look at it, kids. That's not Jesus. The Throne of Lucifer in the Vatican. It's all, it's all a giant mess. And there's another video with the basilica showing under St. Peter's Basilica, still all these all these pagan gods. Now, I've never liked Catholicism. I think it was pretty much made up to control. But some of these videos really, really have the Pope speaking from the snake's mouth. Is this true? Find out for yourself. I gotta go have some breakfast. Bye.